This is page 82. This is the second one, the one in the middle of the page. It's two lines long. Again, we got the melody and the chords. That's what we're doing here. So first thing we need to do is get the melody worked out. Now this has four flats and we're dealing with minors. Four flats is either A major or F minor, the relative minor. And this is an F minor. It's, it's and three, four time. One and two and three and one, two, three. So I can make sure I can play the melody okay at whatever speed you choose. Go slow, it's okay. And then I work out the chords. Well, we're using the one and five chord again. One chord, five chord. So it's an F minor and a C minor chord. Well, there you're only using one note. And that's fine too, you can do that. So then I'll put them together, I want to hear the harmony. I like to do the full chord so I can hear the harmony better. I do here, and then here. Whoops, that didn't sound right, did it? Well, normally a piece would end on its one chord, so that's right here. And a lot of times in pieces, the cadence, the cadence is a series of chords that ends a phrase or a musical thought or a piece or a section or whatever. A cadence, uh, you'll get the five chord leading into the one chord. You'll get a five one progression. So it, it would be like the next to the last measure would just automatically be a five chord, I suppose. So you can go to the one chord at the end. It doesn't have to do that and it's not always going to do that, but it do that quite a bit. I don't know that I like the sound of the harmony all the time because when you hear it was generally when you start or the notes in the chord are predominant in the measure that's the chord you're going to use. So here that's it. And the second chord is here, it's here, here. And then back here so here I gotta stay on a one one because I could, this a C is there, and it would work, but it doesn't really end the musical thought very well. It it adds suspension or tension, and sometimes you want a, a phrase to end with tension. I'm guessing here they don't. They want to resolve it, and in that case, I'm going to use the one chord. And then going on to stay there. Now here. Because that's a dominant chord. And then here. And again, I'm going to stay here because I can do a 5 1 at the end. Here. I could have done a 1. So I don't know that 1 is right or wrong. Your teacher may have suggestions, but in my mind, you could use either of these chords on some of these measures. However, you do just do one note. So that works. I mean, there it, it makes it sounds better because I'm not using these other notes in the chord. But again, I I don't know which chord to use because it starts out okay. But here, do I do this or do I do this? I could, I could go either way. So the third and fourth measures, I could use either either chord and either measure and it sounds okay. So I don't know which to use. Your teacher will tell you what to use. I, I don't know. That's my tendency so I can resolve it. So I would do a one, five, five, one. And then the second line, one. And then I would do a one, five, five, one here too. To me, that kind of flows a little better harmonically. It's up to you, your teacher. And as far as the notes, if you want to make up some other pattern in the left hand, I said go for it. I, I don't know, that's not very good, but the, the 
idea is you're using different patterns, you're experimenting, you're playing around with it. Because the more you'll sit and play around with it and experiment with it, that's actually going to help you progress faster, more secure, be more secure in the harmonies. Let me know if you have questions. I don't do a play with me on this. All it is is a melody and the rest of it is up to you to do something with.